Well, what is Renew? What does a Renew night look like? Well, it's a pretty straightforward opportunity. I think we all know that we work long hours here, right? So instead of doing something on a weekend, it's more appropriate to do something during the week. So we picked a Thursday night. Makes sense. A lot less things happen on a Thursday night. So we're going to gather together around 6 o'clock. From 6 to 6.30 is kind of this meet and greet time. Really appetizers and just kind of connecting with individuals. Everybody runs a little late or some people get there early, but most people are going to show up between 6 and 6.30. Have a little bite to eat, maybe a soda or some water. And then we're going to kind of have everybody come into a single area. And in that area, we call it an experience. We're from 6.30 to 7-ish. We're going to slow it all down. Maybe we'll sing a few songs. Music is a great way for people to connect. Maybe we'll sit there and listen to music. And then we'll hear a little bit about, well, this other kind of worldview. Not the one that the press publishes, but the one that is true. And then after about 30 minutes or so, about 7 o'clock, we'll break out. Dinner's provided, so everybody will go grab a sandwich or a plate. And then you'll break out into one of four groups. There's a, a group for folks, we call it spirituality, a group of people who want to dig a little bit deeper into whatever was presented in that thir first 30 minutes. There's another group called Recovery, which isn't AA. It's, it's not Celebrate Recovery, some Christian form of recovery. It's a gathering of people who have a need to talk about recovery in their lives or in the lives of people they love. And so people gather together and just have a discussion in a smaller group where it's not one person just speaking. It's a whole bunch of people talking together. Again, it's about the relationships that are formed in that room. Another group is a woman's group where women can get together and talk about the um, more specific things that happen in a woman's life or maybe it happened in their past. You know, they say one out of four women has been abused in America today. And they don't want to talk about it with a man. I want to talk about the uniqueness of their situation and what they're dealing with. And then the final group is a men's group. You know, men have their own way of communicating. And I know the media wants to portray it as some kind of grunts and moans. Yeah. But men can be very articulate about either their feelings or they're looking for something deeper. And maybe there's something that's weighing upon them. And so that group provides another audience of people to kind of provide feedback, men who are walking the same journey. And so the hope is through those four groups that everyone will have a place to go and sit, create some community, and then afterwards break out, and run home, 8 o'clock, plenty of time to get home, kind of get rested and get ready for the next day. Or for some folks, they might just want to hang out. And that'll be available just to have more conversation of things that maybe come up during those meetings.